Hey there sexy vault dwellers, Stormy Skies 369 here and we're back in the forest region, zone B, looking at locations 38 to 42. Starting off we have location 38, crash on R81, east of WV Lumberco. The description reads, a rusty car and nearby pickup were involved in an ancient altercation. Now you can grab the goods still on both vehicles. Cayenne coming up on the wreckage. We have a rusty truck and a canoe on top. And there's a few tins of food in the box there. These boxes are empty though. Okay, let's keep walking down. This is a random spawn spot and we've got the messenger Mr. Gutsy. But we could have the lemonade stand or some other random spawn there. There's a bit more junk on the floor. And we also have a wood pile. Doesn't look like there's much on that side, so we'll keep going straight up. Okay, this is a campable location. But do remember if you camp here, it might mess up the random spawn. Moving on to location 39, we have the safe crackers layment with a little description that reads a small pond with an open safe and the remains of a high scone wrong. And as soon as we arrive, we are greeted by some mole rats. So this is an enemy spawn location. Okay, I think that's them all dealt with. It is quite a pretty spot. I can see some building potential here maybe. So let's have a little mooch around. Looks like there's a path here. I don't want to follow it for too long. It doesn't look like there's much up there though. Okay, let's go back to the spot. There's a little snap tail reed here. Looks like a random liberator there. I didn't kill it, honest, it wasn't me. And we got some more snap tail. Not much else, just a few random bits of log. So here's the safe. And of course it's empty, but we do have water. Interesting display of skeletons. Okay, so this is a campable location. And here, why not? It's it's got a bit of water, a bit of flat land, it's in a nice safe area. Good camp here. Mm, there's a few mole rats, but hey, it's the forest. We do have a nice view as well. Gets a thumbs up from me. Thank you. 
Location 40 is Beehive, Arnold Homestead. And the description reads, gather honey and try not to get stung at this beehive, stuck in the remains of a small barn near the corpse of Farmer Arnold. And as warned in the description, this is an enemy location. We've got the bees and this whole field is filled with insects. So you might want to clear those out first. Okay, so we do have some honey, but I don't feel it's such a big deal nowadays that we have our own beehives at the camps. Still, it's nice, better than nothing. Just walking around the barn and if we have a look in this bathtub here, we do have a guitar. This is the only guitar I know of in the game, but unfortunately it can't go in display cases. And also a granary shed key, so you might want to pick that up. Over here we have a junk resource pile, that's quite valuable. And this whole field here is filled with different crops. We've got razor grain, corn, up the top we've got cranberries and some potatoes. So it's a good crop location and here's the shed. So we've got the key off the corpse, Ooh, some wood piles. So inside this shed, we've got a first aid box. And we have a bobble head that's fallen from the shelf. We've got a tool chest, some random junk items. I love those motorbikes. and an explosive crate. Okay, there's a cabinet. We also have a weapons workbench. But right here we have some power armor and of course the power armor station. Power armor might not be here when you are, but the power armor station will be. And there's normally some enemies in here as well. Insects, mole rats, so be warned. So this area down here is a no camping zone. It's a bit of a shame, but that's not what we come here for quick run back over here to the barn and this location is campable which is probably the better of the two because you do get the junk resource so if you're into your crops this one would be a great place for you to camp Location 41 is Nuka Cola Carnage with a short description that reads A crash Nuka Cola truck on the highway. Very basic, let's check it out. I don't know why but I find this really creepy. Okay, but there is more than creepiness to this location. So just down this road here, heading towards the fairground. We have a random spawn location. I was a little hesitant because nine times out of 10, I find enemies here like mutants. Okay, so our location is up here. Just a little way further down here, I may as well show you because we're so close. We have another random spawn location. And this time we get the lone traveller. 
so that's two random spawn locations if you're looking for things like the lemonade stand for hard lemonade and it might be worth checking this place out it's also a little bit of aid on the table okay back to our original spot because we're not done there yet quick run up the hill This is also an enemy spawn location. This NPC has dealt with these mongrels. We also have a first aid box and sometimes near this Nuka Cola machine you will find some Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola Cherry or maybe even Nuka Cola Quantum. So it doesn't look like much but this location really does offer quite a lot. Okay, the big question. Yes, it is campable. Last one for today, location 42, Ridge Top Lake. A small lake with sleeping bags and floating platforms. Okay, so straight in, this is an enemy spawn location. Get rid of these liberators. And we have lots of water. Okay, let's explore a bit. Got a cooler. And some junk plastic boiled water okay just walk along this duck and we'll find an NPC okay our first little tent and we've got a sleeping bag but don't sleep on the ground guys it's so dirty you're gonna get a disease There's nothing up here to loot but I do like the decorations, it'd be really nice to get these in our camps, maybe you have a fisherman's themed style, there's lots of lakes around so come on Bethesda. We have a bit more junk and an unusable sleeping bag which is probably for the best. Okay we've got a rag stag. In the water just down here we have a safe, not much in there though, and here we have a cooking station which is awesome, a bit more boiled water, and up here we have another NPC. bit of ammo and a hunting rifle. And of course, lots and lots of water. Let's try and get out of there. Okay, just coming round to the other side of the lake. Got a bit more junk. And an explosive crate. Quite a lot here then. fungus and snaptail reed there but unfortunately this is not a campable location if you come out a bit it is but the actual lake itself isn't unfortunately still a cool little spot to explore Hey guys, that's all I've got for today. Hope you enjoyed exploring the forest region, so be with me. Thanks again for all the support, really, really appreciated. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.